the way I've kind of found a workaround with that, I'll share with you at the end of this video to kind of get more bang for your money. Hey guys, it's Serene, and today's video is all about my first impressions of Rent the Runway. If you know me, you know I've been practicing a capsule wardrobe for a year now. I originally started my capsule wardrobe in an effort to mitigate mindless fashion shopping and to be better about fast fashion purchases when I'm feeling depressed or that urge to shop. Now that it didn't solve my shopping addiction or retail therapy issues, but you guys probably know I am on a low buy currently, which started as a no buy in the beginning of the year. And that journey is available for you guys to catch up on in the description box. Practicing a capsule wardrobe, I learned a lot. My first capsule was definitely missing some pieces. My spring 2019 capsule was really the most effective and well put together capsule in terms of options. It also really focused on quality and I was just really happy with my spring capsule. After doing this for a year, I thought, what's next? A lot of you guys during my spring capsule actually asked me about my thoughts and would I try Rent the Runway. Then I looked into it and I kind of browsed around it and I was like, this there's gotta be some catch. What's the catch? After doing the math, knowing exactly how much I spent for my spring capsule and what I spent before I practiced a capsule wardrobe, I've managed to cut down on my mindless spending and I did the math. If I get this right and if I continue to not mindlessly shop and not purchase things outside of my wish list and not buy an entire wardrobe on top of doing Rent the Runway, I would actually save money this quarter by doing Rent the Runway. So I said, sure, let's look into this. Let's see if it's something I can do. The details. So for Rent the Runway, I officially started my membership for unlimited rentals starting June 1st. I've received four pieces so far and I have returned three pieces. What is the unlimited membership? Unlimited membership allows me to rotate four items at any given time. There are no limits to how long I can keep the items as long as I am in good standing with my membership. There are no limits in how many items I rotate in and out during my membership. Shipping, dry cleaning, washing, and insurance for the items are all covered in my membership. At first, I thought, truly, this is too good to be true. I went to the nearest location, which is in Woodland Hills at the Village at the Topanga Mall. So it's maybe Topanga. And I was very underwhelmed. The store is pretty. Most of the items didn't really fit my style. And the items that I did try were completely the wrong size. My size is a very popular size. I'm between a 4 6. And my pant size is like a 28. I'm a 32 D in the chest area. It was very underwhelming in terms of selection sizing. I was really disappointed in everything I tried on. And then I talked to the sales associate who said, you know, it's a very small curation in the shop, which also gets rotated out literally daily. And that my size is very popular. So as soon as it arrives in store, it's almost immediately rented. Hour long drive home, I looked on the website and I decided to download the app. Once I got onto the app, I realized there are a ton of different options options from brands I really love like Show Me Your Moo Moo, Reformation, Elizabeth and James, Tori Birch, Rebecca Minkoff, like tons and tons of brands that I like, Rails, Rag and Bone, things that I drool over when I go look at in the stores. If I like something, I look at the customer reviews for their fit and that's the most helpful thing is that other members take photos of themselves in the piece that you want to rent and you can see how it fits them. You can see it in their life. You can also kind of gauge their size and height compared to yours. A lot of the members will share their height, their body type, their weight, and their normal sizing. And then they'll share what size they actually rented. They'll also give really good detailed reviews on the fit, maybe a recommendation to size up or size down. So based on their photos, their sizing, and then the size they rented and their review, you can do a pretty good guesswork. Now this only applies to items that have been previously rented and have reviews. The newer items that launch every Saturday, that could be a challenge if you want to get your hands on those items first because there might not be any really good reviews yet. 
Once I like an item, I heart it so that when I'm ready to rent something, I can just go to my hearts list and decide what is available, which you'll be able to filter. And if it's available and it fits what I need for the week, I will immediately rent it. I made my first order, got really excited, and then had to wait because I made my order on a weekend, which meant I had to wait until Tuesday for my items to arrive, but it, was, it wasn't guaranteed until Wednesday. So the good news is it did arrive a day early. The bad news is if you place your order after 1 p.m. on a Friday, you're gonna have to wait the entire weekend, possibly into Monday or Tuesday. It's still really fast shipping and efficient shipping, but waiting sucks. It arrived in this beautiful garment bag, the most beautiful garment bag I've ever seen, and it arrives with everything that is either recyclable or reusable. So the one thing I was concerned about was the sustainability of the packaging, but the garment bag is reused, and they say that anytime there's a small tear or wear and tear, they do repair it and keep keep it in cycle for as long as possible. The packaging of each individual item, they do dry clean and press everything. They put it on a hanger that they reuse or recycle if it's broken, and then they put a plastic wrap over it. With them saying that they want all of the packaging to be returned to them, to be reused or recycled made me feel a lot better. I have some pros and cons, and of course, I am committed to Rent the Runway for the next three months, and I will update you guys at the end whether or not I think it was worth the time, energy, and money and the pros and cons but currently after my first week here are the pros and cons of rent the runway I don't have to worry about getting the items dry cleaned washing them or cleaning them especially for my lifestyle it's really nice if I wanted to repeat an item I can wash it myself if I needed to they just ask that you follow the care instructions of each item carefully that's a huge burden off of my mind i don't have to worry about dry cleaning fees i don't have to get to the dry cleaners it's a really great sustainable way to enjoy fashion the reason i originally started a capsule wardrobe was one after watching a documentary about the true cost of fashion and two realizing how much wasted fabric items and money mindless shopping and fast fashion was causing and i talk about fast fashion and how if you need to shop fast fashion there are ways to do it in a more ethical sustainable way and mindful way for our wallets. There's nothing wrong with fast fashion when done appropriately because I understand based on time and financial resources, it is sometimes the only way to get items for work or school or whatever it is you need. The thing I love about Rent the Runway is I can essentially enjoy fashion and shop without adding to my footprint. It's sustainable in a monetary way because it's a fixed cost every month for me and it's a sustainable way in terms of adding to textile waste because one item is ideally going to be shared multiple multiple times amongst the members and then at the end of its life in that membership cycle people are able to purchase it either through the sample sale on renttherunway.com or they're able to purchase it if they really truly love the item after if they rented it for a while you can purchase it at a discounted cost which is great they add tons of new options every week they release it on saturdays so saturdays i open up my app and i add things to my loves list you just constantly have new things that you can look at so it's kind of satisfies that need to shop and it satisfies that need to like browse but it's not going to add to my financial burden and it's not going to add to textile waste ideally obviously rent the runway is still purchasing these items from manufacturers and clothing lines and obviously there is some sort of a footprint in terms of the shipping and um, the dry cleaning the dry cleaning and washing and laundry service is all handled in-house in their warehouse at the end of the day there is a footprint just not quite as large as me mindlessly shopping. My favorite thing is that I can guilt-free shop. I love browsing clothing items. I love browsing. The problem is my temptation to buy and then the feeling of less than when I don't buy something when I'm in an emotional funk. Now I get all the benefits of shopping and browsing for my wardrobe without really any limitations other than sticking to Rent the Runway. And I love the fixed cost because I easily could overspend. This has been a really great way for me to kind of get all the best of both worlds. With that being said, the guilt-free shopping 
saving hopefully will lead to me saving money in the long term. The biggest challenge will, to, will be to see, do I start to overspend on my basics because I need it, or do I start overspending on my workout clothes because that was kind of the plan by doing Run the Runway. I was going to allow myself to purchase a couple pieces of workout wear. Now, I don't wanna go crazy with that, and I have been pretty good so far, but you know, three months can be very long for someone with a shopping problem. Hopefully, ideally, I end up saving money in the long run because I don't really need any basics right now. The only thing I'm gonna want to purchase is a bathing suit. Even if I did those things within moderation based on my low buy rules, I should be able to still save money and pay for Rent the Runway. The greatest part is because of my job where I'm on camera, I go to meetings and I go to a lot of events, and it's kind of like expected to wear new clothes. I don't know if it's expected. I feel like it's this own pressure put on by other bloggers and YouTubers, but I don't think it's realistic. And I kind of haven't been following that for the last year because I've been doing a capsule and I don't think anyone notices I'm wearing the same clothes. But at the same time, towards the end of the season, I definitely feel a little FOMO. I definitely feel a little like, oh, I don't wanna wear this dress again, but it's the only dress appropriate for this event. I'm getting really sick of my wardrobe. Um, so that does happen at the end of every season, only when I'm at events. So the best part about this is ideally, I get to wear a new outfit at every event if I plan it accordingly with the shipping, which is awesome. And on top of that, I still have a couple pieces that I added from the summer at the Show Me Your Moo Moo sample sale that I showed you guys um, a, two weeks ago, two, three, a few weeks ago in my weekly vlogs that go up every Sunday. Make sure you're paying attention. They go up every Sunday. Let's talk about some of the cons because I feel like there are a few cons. The two day shipping sucks. Well, it's really great shipping. It's through UPS, which is really reliable. And two days is still really fast. It just feels like a really dang long time when you're trying to plan out your outfits and you're worried that one of the items don't fit and you'll have to get a replacement item. Which leads me to my second con, which is sometimes things don't fit. Because I am a rather curvy, petite woman, things don't always fit. And that's another two days for them to receive it before you can order an item and then two days for you to get that item. So in all, it's four more days before you get a new item. I wish that the second that label gets tracked, a spot would open up in your cart or your membership. Because right now, it doesn't open up until they physically get that delivery of your item. That's the only thing I feel could be improved upon. I understand for liability purposes. The way I've kind of found a workaround with that, I'll share with you at the end of this video to kind of get more bang for your money. Another con is that the items you might want might not be available during the time period that you are you have an open slot. Affirmation dresses get picked up really quickly. The newer items definitely get picked up really quickly. There are pop popular items in certain sizes that might not be available at the time of your needs. Another con is that sets count as two pieces. So I told you guys I have four in your unlimited membership. There's some really cute like show me your moo moo rails pieces that has a top and a bottom and it's clearly a matching set because the print is exactly the same. The models in the photos are wearing it together and if I wanted to rent the set that's going to take up two spots of my rental. I feel like sets should be able to be counted as one. So far, my first impression is I'm enjoying it. It has been really fun. It's like Christmas whenever a new item arrives. It's really fun to open up the app every morning and kind of just browse and shop and know that it's not costing me anything in addition to what I'm already spending. I'll be updating you guys a lot. You'll see a lot of the pieces I'm wearing in my weekly check-ins or weekly vlogs that go up every Sunday. I will also be sharing with you guys on Instagram what I'm wearing all the time, either on my main feed or in stories. I've really just been enjoying the service. We'll see if I still enjoy it in month two and month three and my final thoughts at the end of the season, but so far so good. My biggest tip for hacking the system, in the beginning, return each item as you wear it so that you can get more garment bags to be able to rotate your items out. There's a couple ways of doing this. I'm lucky enough where I'm in driving distance to an actual Run the Runway retail store. As I wear the item, I immediately go to the retail store and return it and drop it off, which immediately opens up a spot. Right there on my app, I pick out a new item. So that new piece is on their way to me in a new garment bag with a return label. When these new items come, I will then have 
three garment bags in rotation. Now another way to do this if you don't have a store nearby, which is going to cost you a little bit in the beginning, is to return it not in the garment bag. The first item, obviously return it in the garment bag because they do charge you $50 for each unreturned garment bag. So the first item, after you're done wearing it, return it in the garment bag, wear your next item, and print out a shipping label. You will have to pay for that shipping label and pack it in your own packaging and ship it off to them. But once they receive that it will open up another slot and you can pick a new item immediately and have it shipped to you in another garment bag so it might cost you a little bit in shipping in the beginning but it's worth having those extra garment bags to be able to rotate your closet out my biggest tip if you're planning on doing rent the runway I'm not being sponsored and paying for rent the runway myself hopefully they'll recognize me maybe they'll like give me some discounts I don't know if you want to check out rent the runway I will have the link in the description box and and I believe I can give you $30 off. And don't forget there is tax. So depending which state you're in, you will be taxed on your monthly membership. That's something I didn't factor in at first. If you guys have any specific questions about Rent the Runway or my capsule wardrobe, let me know in the comment section or DM me on Instagram. All of my information, all of the information you might need will be in that description box. And I would love to see you guys back here every Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays for new videos. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night.